What's up, guys? To Intuitive 717, I am back with another reading. And while the bossy beads is off on her lunch break, I'm going to dive into a collective message here that I'm getting. And I feel like the masculines want you to know, like, what it is they're going through. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's like, I want you to know what it is I'm going through. This could be somebody that has hurt you really deeply in the past, and they're paying for it now, is what I'm, like, picking up on or sensing. It's like, they're starting to see things unfold in their life and each time something negative happens they associate it with the way that they might have hurt you so they could be carrying a lot of guilt a lot of regret let's see what's coming out okay so we have fragmentation and we also have today for tomorrow okay for today for tomorrow too is somebody who constantly thinks about you i feel like they have thoughts about you in their head today enough for tomorrow as well okay this is some a message of somebody who constantly thinks about you um because their images look very similar in this picture as well like i i'm getting that like twin flame lesson okay that's what i'm getting for this masculine here is that twin flame lesson of um the what i'm getting is like the energy between you both okay your masculine is understanding that there's a deep connection here between you two and when you suffer, they suffer and vice versa, okay? So that's why they're feeling a lot of guilt and remorse. It's like what they do to you and in ways that they make you hurt, they end up receiving it back, sometimes even tenfold here because with fragmentation, I'm getting that, like they feel all over the place right now. Um, fragmentation also tells me that many of your masculines are hiding a major part of themselves, um, this part of them that is hurting, okay? Putting a smile on their face with other people and I'm hearing too, like when they have to put a smile on their face and deal with people, let's say at work or in social settings, um, and then they do get that break where they just get to be on their own, there's a lot of tears. There's a lot of emotions that I'm feeling here. Um, a sense of just like release from um, having to hide that, okay? But the, these are all things that they want you to know that they're going through. The fragmentation also tells me, um, because what I'm getting is like, you're seeing a version of them here and it seems like nothing's bothering them but then there's a version of them here that you can't see and it's the part of them that is just truly in their and their own energy and being authentic with how it is they feel and that's that part of them that's hidden away and i feel like the reason many of you cannot like harbor forgiveness or even move in that direction is because fragmentation i feel like a lot of your masculines need to be honest about how it is they feel on the inside but they can't do that okay they can't put up a front or feel like this connection is affecting them in any way um because it's just not them like it's just not them they don't want anybody to know about this they don't want anybody to know that this is affecting them as deeply as it is and i'm talking about like a lot of like depression anxiety a lot of you have been picking up on this as well maybe even having dreams that make you feel claustrophobic or dreams that make you feel like you're trapped in a building or you can't get out or <clears throat> um other dreams could be um of just a lot of like stress that you're feeling okay and i feel like this is piling up for this masculine as well that's why today for tomorrow i feel like they have worries today for tomorrow as well like that's another message that's coming through with this card um because again like it's all piling up on them energetically about the moves that they've been making like how it is they've been interacting with you in this connection being careless with someone's energy not being true to yourself but the truth then spilling out or coming out anyway okay because they're holding back a part of themselves that i feel like eventually like it's gonna spill over they don't want anybody to know it's over you, but the way that they're acting, it's it's pretty obvious that it's you that's affecting them in this way. Okay, one more card, universe. What else is the masculine going through that they want to reveal? Oh, that's four cards that flew out. Um, I won't keep all of them, but what I will do is just kind of keep going until I'm guided to stop, and I'll take the card that ends up on the top, okay? Okay, there you have it. Is this me? Okay, and the message here as well, is this me? And I feel like that maybe is what they are questioning at this time. This could be a masculine as well that chose another path. They chose another path instead of exploring the, the connection with you, perhaps. And then 
um okay so is this me wherever they ended up i'm hearing that it's it's it it wasn't what it it wasn't everything that they expected that it was going to be everything's awkward okay that's what i'm getting like with this card here i'm getting that everything is awkward okay this could be somebody who you know is kind of dressed in this way and feeling really uncomfortable by it putting up a facade um you know putting on a show for others and then questioning yourself at the end of the day like is this who i am is this me is this who i want to be i feel like these are all repercussions and consequences of betraying you in this way um somebody wanted okay you know what you know what i feel this message here is all about i feel like this masculine came towards you and the betrayal in the worst way or feeling the sense of regret was coming towards you or presenting themselves in one way to you and then um like maybe i'm hearing the words guys like it might sound harsh but i'm hearing discard dismiss um yeah discard and dismiss like they went from presenting themselves in a way where there was a lot of passion there was a lot of chemistry there was a lot of talks about a connection between two people and then a, a, like all of a sudden acting like they don't know who you are okay that's what i'm getting or going off in another karmic situation and then feeling like whatever what whatever encountered between you two was was nothing but the the thing is is that you know they're being affected by this you not so much because you're in this place of moving forward and maybe moving on but i feel like whoever did this like they're paying for the hurt that you did experience okay because before having to move on i feel like many of you had to kind of let it sink in that this was the case like you spent time building up a connection with someone only for of course you know that that inevitable separation that happens on the twin flame journey something big that happens that you know kind of shatters your soul so to speak um but it's in that rebuilding that the the, the lesson lies but i feel like someone is almost paying for shattering your soul in a sense um and the re i mean there's nothing wrong with unrequited love right like if there's not enough ro romance or chemistry to keep a relationship going then that's okay but I feel like it's the way this person went about expressing that is what they're paying for. Okay, um, I'm feeling like, we can get some tarot on it as well, but I am feeling like an immature kind of energy here. And this is what they're also learning from or growing from um, on this connection is just taking life more seriously, taking shit more seriously. Hurting you was something that they thought it wasn't going to be a big deal. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I have candle wax filling all over my cards here. Um, I'll clean that up later. But um, I feel like, you know, hurting you was a big mistake. It was a big eye opener. You know, it's one of those mistakes in life that really changes a person and that's what I feel like is going on with a lot of your masculines like they've done this to a lot of people in the past okay a lot of people in the past and I feel like maybe even some of that karma the universe sent you to really deal with this person with this masculine energy here because hurting you hurt them okay you you know yes your soul your soul can be shattered at times your emotions but Unlike people of your masculine's past, you have the ability to rise like the phoenix from the ashes. In fact, you take joy and pride in doing it. <laughs> you take joy and pride in doing it. When you get knocked down, you try to make it a point to other people that they can't keep you down. Okay, and that is where your masculine ends up meeting their match. So you've left someone in a place of severe regret, questioning themselves. Like, I feel like everything that they made you experience but not only you i'm hearing like many other people in their past that maybe didn't have your strength to deal with them you they're also feeling the repercussions or the energetic i'm hearing the words debris the energetic debris <laughs> from 
the suffering of other people. It's just the universe aligned them with you in order to teach them or, or give them some kind of consequence for this action. Because right now, this whole type of player energy and moving in and out, and they don't feel so good in that energy anymore. It's not as high vibrational as they thought it was going to be. Why? Because they, they picked the wrong one to do it too. Because now they're all in their feelings. Today for tomorrow, I have so many feelings in me for you. So many things I want to say for today and tomorrow too. Okay, that's what I'm getting out of that card. This is somebody who is just, you know, one way with everybody else, but deep down inside, they are hurting for what they did to you. They're questioning them this, themselves. Is this me? Okay, they could be facing a lot of self-doubt. Probably like you, you experienced a lot of doubt, right? Like, what the fuck was that? We were so heavy in this passionate connection and then all of a sudden you're gone. All of a sudden I see you with somebody else. Uh, and then a lot of you were like, okay, okay, universe, thank you for that lesson. <laughs> what do I do with it? And, you know, many of you did your thing. And I'm saying, guys, unlike other people that this masculine has dealt with, those people fell apart. But you are here to give those people justice. Okay. Um... When, why is this masculine questioning themselves? Is this me? What kind of energy are they currently in? So they're ready to move on. Okay, pack up their things and move on. Okay, this could be somebody who is moving, somebody having to relocate, someone who's surrounded by bad company and they're being forced out of a situation because the Ten of Wands, Ten is like a completion of a cycle, okay? And that's why I'm saying they might have chosen something. They might have betrayed you or walked away from you or I'm hearing the words clown, like clowned you, okay? Had people laughing at you, pillow talking, laughing over you. And then they ended up in a situation where they had to pack up and leave. All that pillow talk done. No more pillow talk. <laughs> Somebody had to pack up and leave. Pack their pillows too. Okay. So I feel like that loneliness or that kind of dead air that they left you with. Oh, there's a whole bunch of dead air that they're experiencing. And the 10 also represents a good lesson learned. Okay, now you're ready to move forward. Okay, somebody's desperately trying to get to this King of Pentacles energy. But I feel like this Five of Swords here keeps distracting them from the victory. Okay, this is somebody who wants stability, but in order to get stability, you need confidence. Right now, they don't feel that confidence. Okay, they might want victory, they might want stability here, because right now... They've lost it all. And believe me, you keep coming to mind every time they think about themselves being on their way out. Okay, this could be somebody that's in between. I'm in between right now, in between jobs, in between homes. Um, it's going to take them time to get on their feet and get back into this King of Pentacles energy here. Right now, they're being plagued with confusion, which is most likely this fragmented fragmentation energy right now, having to be true and authentic to themselves, which means... I fucked up. <laughs> I made a mistake. Sorry, universe. You know, this is somebody who could be... Um, they're pleading to the universe. and Or they could find themselves praying for the first time ever for forgiveness. Okay? If this person has never prayed before, and this is the first time they're praying, they're finding themselves praying for forgiveness. That they did this to somebody who was good and kind... They, you were good to them. I'm hearing you were kind. You you were blindsided. You didn't see this coming. This is somebody who was paying a major price for getting away with behaviors in the past. And now that they picked you to do it to, the universe is making sure that they spend some time paying for it. I feel like this, this energy here is what it is. They're craving the six of wands, victory, right? They want, they want to complete this ten of wands cycle, okay? being shitted on for in a, another situation and they expect to have instant victory instant success manifest something else but the universe is like no it doesn't work like that okay you're gonna sit there and you're gonna 
think about how it is you treat other people, how it is you interact with other people. And the next time I send an earth angel in your presence and you mishandle <clears throat> this earth angel, you know, you can continue to prepare for changes, conflict, you know, things not going your way, things not going right. Okay, this is what I feel is coming through here for this masculine energy. This is the kind of lessons that they're learning right now. So for those of you, you are getting the justice. You may not be able to see it, okay, because this person is probably hiding it in a way or disguising it in a way to make you think that everything is a-okay. But believe me, energetically, you guys know they are paying the price, okay? This is for those of you earth angels out there who you know, might have thrown your hands up to the universe and went, what the heck? I totally did everything by the book. I did everything that I was supposed to do. Like, you know, how did I get sideswiped like this? And I feel like your angels are surrounding you right now, asking you to really trust the process. Um, because as above, so below, as this person goes through this energy, um, you can expect great rewards being sent your way for your patience, okay? And I'm also hearing, too, like a lot of your kindness, because many of you could have slayed this person. You could have gone back and slayed this masculine. But because you are on this path to your divinity within self, many of you chose to say, okay, what are you trying to teach me here, universe? You know, God, what are you trying to teach me? You know, and I feel like on both parties, it's just a lesson to to connect. Okay, making making sure that you're staying connected to, you know, something higher within yourselves. Um, and particularly for these masculines as well, um, making sure that from now on they do things by by the book because I feel like they're getting a clear sign here that somebody's always watching, okay? So that's what I have for you guys for this one. You guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one, okay? Bye, guys.